Good afternoon, Money.net Live. Uh, Todd Butterfield, the master of Wyckoff. What's what we're calling you, Todd, the master of Wyckoff. And the reason I think so, let's talk about it. How are you, Todd? I'm good. Been laying a little bit bearish still on stocks here uh, from uh, what, May 26, I think it was. Didn't really want as quick, abrupt sell off uh, late yesterday and today, obviously news related with inflation mm -hmm. numbers. Let's see if volume can uh, can stay low and price can hold in here and test the previous low. Yeah, um, I mean, from the last time, I think you were, you were hanging out with my buddy Creed. Uh, I'm sorry, I couldn't make it last time, but uh, let's talk about that. You you said it. You got really bearish. Um, I, I've been saying Big B bottom is in. I think we may go test it again, unfortunately. But show us on your screens uh, this Wyckoff method of telling us how you beat the market in this, in this situation. All right, let's bring up this... Uh, SPY chart. Do you have that now? Got it. Yeah. I mean, what I've been talking about was back here, we made a new low on our uh, tech reading and uh, our volume OP reading. So around here, things started turning higher. You can see here in the blue line, volume started turning, coming in. The problem with that volume came in and volume was light as shown here by the green line. And all we could do is get back to really what was the level where we broke down from. So, right. To have buy volume come in, price stays below really a level where some buying came in isn't good. And then here on May 27th, we had an overbought technometer, which shows that volume has been, uh, you know, needs to probably turn down. So on the 27th, then we were kind of saying, hey, price could slow up and uh, we need to see it turn back down. Mm -hmm. Well, obviously, we've had that the last two days. Technometer 41.6. So... 38 is considered oversold. So uh, not, volume is not big here. So uh, we'll see how today ends. Hopefully this is a test of the low and we can start uh, working higher. And really that's probably what I expect. I think things will hold in here and uh, we will turn back higher. And we'll I have been buying off. tech stocks. Uh, am I in the wrong? Uh, more of a long-term portfolio. Uh, I've been buying normal stuff, Apple, Microsoft. Uh, right. Getting nervous. Uh, are you nervous still or not? I mean, I've been long Apple. I think I mentioned we got stopped out of that uh, 153 and change. Okay. Still one I would like. I mean, I I like Microsoft. I think IBM has been holding up unbelievably mm. well. I will mention SAGE is one that's been holding up. Sage. Okay. Sage Therapeutics. Yep. Uh, you know, Berkshire Hathaway is trying to hold in. Uh, there is various blue chips doing uh, not too bad. I mean, you know, and these sell-offs is where the uh, new leaders are going to come aboard and start out performing to the upside. So that's the thing to look for is stocks trying to hold up and trying and to that, fight And that's off. interesting you were saying, Sage. Uh, I do like the biotech sector here. I think the FDA is about to go crazy and uh, start approving things. Um, but why Sage Therapeutics? Um, I just had an alarm set on that. The chart looks pretty good. Okay. So that's why I did that because I got an alarm, as I said, just a little bit, bit ago. I can share oh. that chart if you'd like for me to. Yeah, uh, you got that alarm a few minutes ago, you said. That's good. Okay. All right. Sage in front of you. It is, yep. So that's just something here. I mean, you can see big red volume here coming into a selling climax and Wyckoff terminology automatic rally, secondary test, came down here and shook everybody out on the spring and then had uh, some decent volume here coming off the lows, came back down low volume test as shown here in the red. And then volume came back in to take us back to the highs uh, Monday. And then, uh, you know, we're having a nice little 50% sell off back in the middle of the range. So again, not buying it right here, right now, but that's one on my radar screen to look because it is trying to turn up here. And uh, that's just one I'm interested in. That is some good stuff. You know what? Uh, you know, the one thing I like about the markets in Utah is that uh, you're the real deal. Uh, Wyckoff has uh, proven himself over and over and over and over again throughout time. Um, and we need to get to you, man. Uh, show us how to get to you one more time. I mean, WyckoffSMI.com just redid that website. Pulse of the Market.com is uh, our software. We put that on a standalone site. Okay. Or crypto. I mean, Bitcoin, uh, 
you know, Bitcoin just a high octane Nasdaq Nasdaq trade now, which. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're back to twenty nine thousand on BTC. Is it going to hold here? I mean, it could easily, when you're not looking, tag through the lows, catch everybody. But you know, again, I think I'm hoping stocks make a low, hoping Bitcoin uh, will make a low here and lead us higher. But yeah. uh, you know, on stocks, I've been about 30, 40 percent long on stocks. Do have some losses. Bitcoin, uh, we're still long from uh, ages ago when I first started covering Bitcoin around thirteen hundred. Yeah, trading. We've been caught long here too as well. I've had some pain applied to me. A little too bullish on the uh, cryptos, thinking they uh, would bottom before now. I mean, definitely the Feds hurt a lot of these markets, but uh, yeah, sentiment's really bad. I still think we're going to try to make the lows here and, and get at least some type of decent rally for a few months. And with these lows, would you be selling or just uh, shorting, or would you be looking to make a position to go long again? I mean, I'm still looking to add the longs here uh, probably early next week. Ooh, I like that. Very good. All right. Is there anything else you want to tell us about, uh, Todd? You got on the radar? No, I mean, I got various stocks, different things, but no, nothing uh, nothing dramatic. We can review. You can sign up for that at WyckoffSMI.com. That's a, just a free little. WyckoffSMI.com. Uh, it's like a newsletter, right, that you send out, right? I just send out a Sunday afternoon little. Quick Fantastic. Time. All I right. Well, a few videos out too here and there. Oh, that's even better. I love videos. Hey, obviously, right? Um, okay, Todd, then I'll get everybody with the uh, the uh, URL out there on your YouTube video as well, and we'll push it out there for you. So I look forward to seeing you next week, Todd. Talk to you later, Stephen. All right, bye.